Hello, my name is Mohamed Al-Mallem and I'm a mechanical engineering student at Bahrain Polytechnic. My name is Ali Al-Sharakhat and I'm an electronics engineering student. Today we're going to explain to you our project of Greenhouse Automation System. This project consists of many parts. Its main purpose is to control the temperature, the soil moisture, the light intensity, and can also monitor CO2 levels and humidity levels. So we have three control systems. One control system is used to control the temperature. And for that, we have two subsystems. We have a heating system and a cooling system. So uh, the heating system basically is used to increase the temperature of the greenhouse when needed. The cooling system is used to decrease the temperature of the greenhouse. And for that, we use PID controllers. As for the light intensity, we have a light-dependent resistor. Uh, this resistor basically can detect the light intensity and then change the intensity of the halogen lights as necessary to reduce energy use. And we have two vents and an inlet fan that we control manually in order to uh, exchange temperature and other environmental conditions from the inside of the greenhouse to the outside to the environment when needed. And we have automatic doors as well. Software to control when we are irrigating the plant. And for that, we use two compactrios, uh, an iCompactrios and a LabVIEW software. And Ali will explain to you how these work. So as Mohammed said, we have here the front panel of the LabVIEW program. It shows us the temperature inside the greenhouse, the temperature inside the heating actuator, the temperature inside the cooling actuator, and the heat sinks temperature and the outside temperature. And we have here the PID controllers of the system, the PID for the heater, the cooler, and the heating fan and the cooling fan. And we have here um, the, the duty cycle of the heating elements and the duty cycle of the filters inside the cooler. And here we can set the temperature inside the heating actuator. And here for, uh, this is the set point for the cooling actuator. And here's the set point of the temperature inside the greenhouse. And this slider, we can use it to, to manually control the, the irrigation pump that supplies water to the plant and we can also control manually control the vents um, using this slider we have here a graph that shows us um, the temperature inside the heating actuator the temperature inside the greenhouse and the temperature inside the cooling actuator as you can see we have currently um, set the temperature inside the greenhouse at 22 degrees and um, we can see here that the duty cycle of the cooling fan is at 100% because the greenhouse is actually cooling right now and the duty cycle of the heating actuator at the, uh, of the fans at the heating actuator is at zero and now I'm going to increase it um, to 28 degrees we can see now that the, the duty cycle of the cooling fan is reducing to zero and the the duty cycle of the heating fan is increases is increasing to 100. And here we have our two controllers. They are connected to the PC and they are um, two compact trio chassis. Um, we are using several modules. Um, and I'm going to explain each one of them. Um, we are using five 9401 modules that are DIOs. Um, they are used to um, to receive signals from digital um, sensors and produce the PWM signals. And here we have the 9215 module, which is which is an analog input module. Um, it reads the um, the voltage from minus 10 to 10 volts. And we have the 9203 module, 
that uh, reads the current um, ranging from minus 20 to 20 milliamps. And here we are using three 9219 modules that are used to um, to measure the temperature of the of the RTDs and the thermocouples. So finally, this project has been initiated in 2014, and since then, it's been going through wide ranges of development. We've been using NI hardware and NI products since then, and we haven't faced any issues that are related to them. Most of the issues that we faced earlier were related to calibrating the sensors, but thanks to NI capabilities, we have not faced these issues. So it's still been uh, going through some development. We're trying to do some modeling so that we can improve the controllers, but overall, this project is a source of research and development in Bahrain Polytechnic and we're proud to have it. Thank you for watching this video.